Oh, hey, it's Sabrina. So today I thought I would share with you a review of a book. I don't do reviews very often because I find that I'm not quite as well-spoken as a lot of the booktubers I love to watch, but in my mind, practice makes you better. So hopefully after I start filming these videos more often and I get more comfortable, my reviews will come off a little bit more um, put together and not so all over the place. So let's just go ahead and get started. The book that I'm going to be talking about that I want to review is In the Woods by Tana French and it is the Dublin Murder Squad no novel number one. Now there's five novels, but from what I remember and what I've researched, they don't all necessarily connect, so you're fine reading them as standalones. Um, so In the Woods is set in Dublin in the 1990s or early 2000s, I want to say, like 2001 or 3, something like that. And the novel starts off in, I think, the 70s, where these three kids are playing in the woods and they mis mysteriously vanish. Hours later, one of the kids shows up and he is visibly traumatized, clinging to a tree with blood in his shoes, with no recollection of what happened to his two friends. He's the only one that survives. And then, so that's where the novel starts off, and then you fast forward to the book. I promise I will not be giving any spoilers. Fast forward, and the kid who survives ends up becoming a detective. And all these years later, there's a girl who found, she's found murdered in a similar area that this kid was, you know, was found. And he thinks that there's some sort of connection. So the rest of this book is him trying to figure out, is there a connection? Um, what happened to this girl who killed her? So it's basically a murder mystery. So that's the main plot of the story. Now I'm going to kind of go in and talk about some of the things that I liked and didn't like about this book. One of the number one things I loved about this book was Tana French is an amazing author. I rarely ever bookmark spots in a book, but in this book I found myself just so excited and happy with the way that she was describing things that I would sit there and put post notes like, oh, this sentence is amazing. I couldn't have said it better. And I just, I think Tana French is really, really, really gifted. And for that reason alone, I will be reading more of her books. Another thing I loved about this book was that the characters were all so different and the way that she described and portrayed them, it didn't seem like all of the characters were so flat. In some books that I've read, a lot of the um, authors have a hard time dis distinguishing the characters, and so a lot of times it feels like you're reading about the same person over and over and over. But in this book, each person had their own personality, their own traits, and they were just so well thought out, and I really appreciated that because I think in this book, the writing was so great and the characters were so fantastic that it had me overlooking some of the other flaws. So what I didn't love about this book was that in some parts it was kind of slow because Tana would spend some so, so spend a lot of time going through and describing so much and going into so much detail that I found that some parts were slow. Um, it didn't ruin the book for me by any means. I still by the end was like in so much awe at the way it ended up. Um, another thing for me was that I was able to see kind of where the book was going. I could see who committed the murder. I could kind of figure that out. And I and I don't know if that was her intention. If you really pay attention to the context clues and you pay attention to every character that enters and leaves the story, I think it's actually pretty easy to figure out who committed the murder. And I'm not going to say who did, but even though I found myself kind of guessing that, there was still an element of surprise at the end that you were like, whoa, I did not see that coming. And I really, I loved that about it. And the last thing I kind of want to talk about that I didn't really love was, I guess because the novel is um, because there are going to be more books after the first one, they're already all written. Uh, you didn't really find out if, um, you don't really find out what happened to his two friends that went missing. And that was kind of something that I was a little bit looking forward to, is like finding out like what happened to his two friends. Um, he remembers what happens to them in pieces as the story goes on, but you never quite get a, a clear, um, 
sense of what happened to them. A lot of people speculate that they ran off. Other people speculate that they were killed and their bodies were dumped in the river and that's why they were never found. I think that's kind of what the author wants you to think what happened. But um, yeah, so that's, that's like what happens. Um, overall, I really enjoyed this book and I gave it four out of five stars. If you like, if you're looking for a novel that's not set in the U.S., kind of set back in the late 90s, early 2000s, I would highly recommend it. You don't need to read all five novels and Ton of French is just a really fantastic author. I would highly recommend this. That is it for this review. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you've read this book, let me know down below what you think of or what you thought of it. Uh, I'll talk to you very soon. And of course, thanks for watching.